think people need to start getting creative right. and you know just looking for that next shit. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's the disconnect also because it's like they um like me and JD was just having this discussion the other day is that the crazy thing about labels they don't actually hire the people that actually create the music they hire managers and like people like that rather than actually hiring people that understand the creative process and people that have the credentials and all that like they just hiring people who is affiliated with you know whether it's a songwriter or it's a producer or whatever but they not the ones that actually create and they basically hire them just based off a of hype you know what i mean mm -hmm. so that's that's this that, that that's a huge disconnect too and um that's really what it is because you know in, in this industry it's about you know who you know and who knows you so that and, and everybody that's been in the business you know if you buddy buddy with this person they'll put you on you know what i mean and, and it's just that and and, the, and just because they put you on don't mean that you necessarily know how to do the job so it's just it's, it's just all bad yeah it's just all bad like i'm watching jd now like like he's like a one-man label right now like um he's working this rolls royce rizzy kid and he signed a so so deaf, but JD also manages him. And I'm just watching him like every day, just working and working, working. And I'm just like, wow, like this is one person doing this. And I and I was asking him, like, you know, why doesn't he bring other people on? He said, yo, the more people you bring on, it gets that's when, you know, this person's opinion and this person has an opinion and it just takes longer. You know what I mean? So he was like, I just go off my gut and I just do it on my own. You know what I mean? And, and that's why it works. And that, and that's the thing with the majors, like that's why a lot of music don't come out because they spend so much time trying to figure out if this is the single, if this is the single, if this is the single, and months go by, you know what I mean? Whereas you just, you should just make a decision and just run, you know what I mean? And that's why no, no albums or nothing come out, because they're so stuck on trying to figure out, like trying to be 100% sure, and you'll never be 100% sure, so. Right, yeah. and people give up on songs. Oh, absolutely, too. absolutely. It's kind of like, yeah. damn, they yeah. throw it out one day, on yeah. Friday, and by Monday, night. No. Oh, shit, maybe this ain't the record. And it's yeah, like, nah, what have you man, really even done? We going through this right now. You know what I mean? I'm not even going to you know, name the artist or whatever, a label. But we going through this right now where, like, since the since the internet has become a thing where, you know, things can go viral and blow up, the labels are letting that decide, right, if a song works or not. They're just expecting, okay, they throw it out there. And they're watching how the people react to it. You know what I mean? And it's like, yo, like if it doesn't, if the people don't react to it the, the way that you want to react to it, like that doesn't mean that you just don't promote it. Like if it's a good record, it's a good record. Why are you paying this staff? You paying this person a hundred thousand plus, and he's supposed to be your A and R guy. He's the one that's supposed to tell you if this is the record or not. Like these are strangers you throwing the records out there to. Like you know what I mean? So. They it, it just all messed up. Like they're just all messed up. Like you know, people are scared to make decisions, and it's just it's it's, it's in a weird place right now. It's a very time. very weird place. You know, like I said, it, it, it's gonna take an independent. You know, that's why Cash Money wins because you know, Baby just decides like, hey, Little Wayne comes home with a record. There's not uh, twenty people sitting in the room where they decide. Little Wayne comes to him and said, this is the record, and they go, and that's it. You know what I mean? But that's because they have so much control over, you know, the situation they're with in their partnership with Universal. So they're allowed to do, you know, more than, you know, other people are allowed to do. But there's not 20 people sitting in a room and they are arguing about, well, you know, oh, I don't like this part. I don't like this part. Or this should have been better. No, it just, he comes to them. Yo, this is the record. They push it. That's it. And even if you look at, I don't know what year was the best year for music mm -hmm. business wise, but mm -hmm. we know it was a while ago. Right, right. You know, right, right. When rock right. bands would put out music, yeah. it wasn't no go viral. Right. It was we gonna get on the road, exactly. we gonna work this, we gonna touch people, we gonna do things. Right. right. And you know, I think some of that needs to come back. Yeah, so. the internet is a perceived shortcut, man. That's that's all it is. This is just a perceived shortcut the way people feel like they could just put stuff out there and think it's gonna work and nah, it's still a it's still it's a work short, shortcut because yeah. it's so short. Right, right. But that's why the records don't last long. Because when they go viral like that, you know, it's only a matter of time till something else comes goes viral and people forget about that and you know, it's like the microwave viral, that's what I call it, you know.